On the mean streets of the University of the West of England, they've clocked up 500 miles in a car without a driver. It relies on high-tech sensors to find its way around. Instant connection is crucial. You can't be buffering when cruising at 70 miles an hour. They're not quite ready for passengers yet, but had something more suitable inside. For a glimpse into our 5G future, I thought I'd take a little spin. At the moment, I'm in charge of this simulator, but flick a switch and the computer takes control. <laughs> it's slightly disconcerting. Well, actually, 5G is key, is going to be key for design vehicles uh, capable of driving uh, probably 10 times better than uh, the human driver. It was tough to hear. Instant reaction times, no blind spot, and the ability to see round corners. Now scientists think robotic cars will soon have the upper hand over us humans. Something that brings together industry and all of the different players. Talk to another visionary and you find the change won't just be happening on our roads. People are getting used to this idea that their homes are becoming smarter. People are already controlling things like their thermostats, their central heating, their curtains, their TVs. This idea of homes having a brain that is collecting together lots and lots of data and lots of information, well, that all defines the way that telecoms needs to operate. So I think we will see increasingly this idea of objects and devices that are just talking to the network all the time. It was time to look at the bigger picture. With so many devices generating so much data, it was hard to see how you could make sense of it all. I found my answer inside Bristol's data dome. Here they show what it all means when everything's pulled together. Real-time information about the traffic on our roads, the quality of our air, the health of the population. It all promises a better understanding of who we are. But with technology now moving quite so fast, some will fear this brave new world risks spinning out of control. Robin Markwell, BBC Points West, in Bristol.